weirdly this is something that i um, just realized that i recently figured out and an introspection i was just thinking about myself and about who i am or who i was or who i used to be as a friend and i see the higher selves of everybody that i've ever been around and i think in a way i was always pushing the people that were around me or talking to the people who are around me about who they could possibly be because that's who i saw them to be i dreamt for them the highest dream there was possibly and weirdly i got the opposite of that i got the hate speech i got the you think you're all that i got the you know evil eye i got the curses i got the abuse i got the you know down downgrading uh, statements i got the people wanting to you know put things in my mind that weren't even there or you know talk bad about features that would my features that would normally you know are okay but they wanted to make them not okay um i avoided saying shining light of, on my insecurities because i started my healing journey a long time ago and doing uh, rituals guided by spirit to rid myself of insecurities once i realized that you know insecurities weren't normal and they they were in themselves a spirit of hate and fear so as i was saying when i was busy shining light on their best parts they were busy creating not even shining lights on my bad parts because i honestly don't consider that i had any flaws but you know i had wounds and they were not shining light on the wounds but adding salt to my wounds and making issues where there really weren't any and in that i also thought about like probably the way that i was raised and i have been around a lot of children and a lot of kids and you know a lot of families to say but uh, ones that we are related with and most that you know we we had no relation at all and i saw how uh, people interacted with them and their parents interacted with them and i thought to myself i never you know how most people are always like encouraged by their parents and pushed by their parents and it's like what do you want to do how can i help you pull through i never got that i never got that at all i never got that what do you want to do we're going to support you no 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 i was pushing myself and while i was pushing myself they were busy tearing me down they were busy you know you cannot do that because of abcd you can't do that because of abcd from the greatest ideas that i had to the simplest ideas that i had like maybe probably just planting a rose or planting something in a farm that was probably vacant and couldn't even take that much and it was mostly most of my life that's how i've lived with that you cannot do that you cannot be that you cannot you you can't you can't you can't you can't well most people or most children got that you can you can if you push yourself enough you can we're gonna support you you can if you move this way so when i say that i uh I've grown around toxic environments and I've gotten so much hate in my life. These are one of the things that I mostly talk about and this is not a lie. This is true. This is in my way my truth. But um the purpose of doing this video was probably just to document this line of thought, but uh, I've also realized that um this could also be uh you're not alone in this type of video and this is not the end of it and i am in a better place right now where uh, it's not that i'm not surrounded by the hate that i've received i've been receiving since i think i was a child it's still there it's even worse than it was before but now i am more aware of who i am and i'm more grounded in my truth and that's the thing though that's the thing that i think the spirit was always pushing me towards and you see how i think you've heard this before when people say some of the things that 
or some of the relationships that are failed it was god showing you who those people are and that's true in a way but i think for most part of my life and most you know fallouts that i've had in my life it was more of god showing me of who i was of my truth of my strength of my capabilities of how um despite despite growing up in toxic environments despite for years i am um almost 25 now but like despite all the hate and uh, neglect and abuse i'm still you know flying and my wings have been chipped one too many times but i still found a way to grow them back which seemed like impossible but i found a way to do that and fly now that i'm flying now that i'm on a sky high it's proof that you know who you are is what nobody can ever touch i was having a conversation again with a friend of mine and i was telling them how um despite everything despite everything there's still a part of myself that the darkness has never touched or that has never been touched by anything or anybody and that's my um treasure the treasure in my chest in that i wrote an ebook it's called i was happy yesterday you can email me to get the book or you can go to my hustle sasa page to purchase the book and there's a, um, a chapter that i wrote about you know protecting my chest and i just remembered that when i said something in relation to my treasure and my chest because they're so relatable and um i would consider i was happy yesterday a poetry book in a way because it's not really straightforward and i feel like it talks to you differently it has talked to me in different seasons depending on what i was feeling or where i am so it's really made for everybody you will you're gonna pick something from it meant to Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if this video helps.